Here I have Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus and let me show you how to bypass Google verification on the following device. So let me show you how to unlock this device, how to activate this phone without the Google account. So it will solve your forgotten Google account problem. So let's just follow this step to activate your device. Let's go next right here. Let me tap next to the following mobile network. Tap next to the agreements. Skip for now the backup. Let's connect your device to a Wi-Fi. As you can see, I've got my Wi-Fi connected. Let's tap next. All right, as you can see, if you have your Google account protection activated and you forgot your Google account, you need to follow these steps. Let's choose use my Google account. The verification panel should be up. Here you need to activate your email or phone number then let's use this settings icon let's go back by using the back key and select here google voice typing all right let's use the following loop in that corner and let's type in the following phrase offline search let's tap offline search so let's tap on manage offline searches right here choose no thanks and select here search all right let's type in here the chrome so let me enter the chrome all right as you can see you can use the chrome let me tap it tap accept and continue choose no thanks and now we need to enter the following website hard reset Dot info. Let's enter hard reset dot info, and here let's use the following menu right here. Select download. Let's type in here Android eight. Tap search. This is the Google Account Protection Bypass app. Let's tap download. Here, let me scroll down and choose here download again. Tap continue. Let's allow Chrome to access photos, media and files on this device. Tap allow. Tap OK. And choose open. Let's choose settings. Let's allow from this source. Let's go back. Tap install. Choose open right here. And this is the FRP bypass app. Let's choose here Google account manager for version 6.0. Choose settings again. Let's allow from this source and let's go back. Tap install right here. All right, Google Account Manager is installed. Let's tap done. And now let's choose here bypass FRP right here. Choose browser sign in. Use this more key in that corner and choose browser sign in again. Tab OK. Now you can sign in with your Google account. So let me do it. Let's enter some google account it could be any google account not connected to this device just the google account that you know the email and password so let me connect my google account tap next let's enter the password Alright, here we need to choose next again. Tap sign in. The FRP bypass pops up again, so let's here press power key, select restart and tap restart again. Let's wait a few seconds.
All right, let's now activate your device. So let's here use this button, tap next, tap next again. Let me skip the backup, tap next, choose next to the Wi-Fi connections. The phone is looking for an available update. Account added. So as you can see, the account that you had previously in that process is added. So it's a good sign. Tap next. Here, let me choose don't restore. Choose not now to the following protection. Skip anyway. Here we've got some Google services. So let me tap accept to all of them. Let me don't review the additional apps. Tap OK. Let me skip the Samsung account, tap skip and choose here finish. All right, as you can see, just activate your device, but to fully erase the factor rest protection, let's open the list of all apps, choose settings, scroll down, select here general management, tab reset, and let's perform here the hard reset operation by using settings. So let's choose here factory data reset right here, tab reset again. As you can see, you will erase everything, including your Google account, tab reset, and tab delete all. Wait until the operation will be completed. Do not interrupt while the process is running. All right, as you can see, welcome panel just pops up. So now let me try to activate my device. Let me choose the language. So let me choose English. For instance, from United States, tab OK. Let's use this button, tab next. Let me switch off the voice, tab next. Let me agree to the license, choose next again. Let me skip the backup, tab next. Here, let me also activate the device without the Wi-Fi. It's a good sign that we can do it. Tap next to latent time. Let me accept the Google services. Let me don't protect the device. And here, let's skip the Samsung account. So as you can see, just activate your device without the Google account. Let's just choose finish and the home screen should pop up. Now let me check out the Android version and the security patch level. Let's scroll down, choose about phone and let's select software information. And as you can see, I just accomplished that operation on Android version 9 with the following security software version and following Android security patch level. So that's it. Everything went well. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe our channel, leave thumbs up under the video.